Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Free Media Tereko. Today we have a very special uh, thing here that we want to unveil, and this is our new coco gas. You can see I also bought some fuel with it. They're saying it is performing best. So I want to try it out so that I may see how it performs. So this is the fuel. It is something like um, uh, they were saying 2.3 liters. Let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't see the, des the description inside. On top. Side. Sides. Or here. Or where is side. It? This side. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, 2.3 liters, 2.3 liters, so that is the capacity of this tank, 2.3 liters, and then let us, let us the time, we are now unboxing our new cocoa gas, and we want to see what is inside here, uh, they were trying to explain that it performs perfectly, so we want just to see the perfectness of the cocoa gas today. So, ah, look guys, this is the content of, the, of this box. You can see the design. So this is where you place your, your jiko or uh, your, your cooking pan. One here, one there. And they were saying that if you want to add your fuel, then this, this is the point where you just open it, then you pour that fuel inside. So we'll see everything eventually. So let's continue. Now, so let's see how fuel is being added into this cocoa gas. And then we'll test it. Okay, I think it should be this way. I should put it this way. Okay, instruction says to open this fuel hatch, make sure both regulators are off. So, regulators, they are all off. I don't know whether my cameraman can zoom, but can bring it closer. So we have two regula regulators here, one is here, which says high, then there is medium, then there is low. So I believe my camera man, man can zoom it. We have high here, we have uh, medium, then there is low, and then there is off. The same with this side. There is high, medium, and low, and off. So we are already in off mode. All of them are off. So that is according to the, the according to the instructions given. To open this fuel hatch, make sure both regulators are off. Right now they are all off. So let me try opening it. So I don't know. How it is being opened okay I have opened it so you can see that the knob they were saying that this is the point where fuel is being poured inside this tank through this point so I want to try pouring fuel inside now this is the fuel you see cocoa and here it is written cocoa fuel so let us try guys so it is a very complicated technology. Let us try it, guys. Huh? It is closed tight. How do we open it? Okay, we just pull it. Now, so how do we how do we pour it? Okay. 
<laughs> so they were saying that you simply turn it this way you simply turn it this way then you 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 insert it there then you twist it so after twisting it you will see the fuel going down slowly by slowly okay i think this this side is uh, a little bit transparent let my cameraman zoom here so you can see somehow the fuel is moving down you can see slowly by slowly it is moving down so it was it was somewhere here 2.3 or 2.2 liters right now it is going down so once that tank will be full once the tank is full the fuel will uh, uh, will not get inside anymore so you can see there is an arrow here that indicates that this tank should be turned downwards you can see this arrow so after turning it downwards the fuel automatically moves in, into that cocoa tank which is somewhere here so this is a new technology in Kenya which actually I just want to try it today and right now and see how best it performs more than uh, uh, normal gas or maybe any other source of energy so this is the apparatus this is how it looks the, the fuel itself is a little bit affordable when this uh, jerry can is full they charge 175 the full jerry can is 175 so anytime uh, someone someone goes back to refill it then he must have 175 so you can see the fuel is moving guys you can see there so something like uh, some points are remaining but it is moving a little bit faster now it's like our fuel our uh, our tank is full you can see our fuel is not moving anymore see that so it is full so we want to remove our tank so i was given instruction to push a little bit and twist anti-clockwise this way then you pull it out okay then you, you close it that way so our tank is full of gas and then there is another important instruction that was given it is that uh, after filling that tank you wait for 20 minutes and then you light it so i have to wait for the next 20 minutes then we will light our cocoa gas so let's wait guys so let's try it out guys so let me switch it on first at low let me see why is it not working something is not working out here for me now how do you operate it okay here we have yes
the experiment continues guys you can see my omen here So more water for more soup, guys. More water for more soup. So let's add more water for more soups. Is there any any plural of soup? No, it is soup, 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 soup. Okay, I think that one is enough. Let me add a little bit again. Yeah, that one is enough. Let's cover it to preserve flavor. So I've covered it so that the flavor may be contained inside the cooking pan. You don't want to lose flavor. So you have to cover it to maintain the flavor within the cooking pan, guys. It will be a very nice smell today. And in this sofa, I'll cook my ugali here. So, but later.